year or so, I visit what some would call major attractions in the Myrtle Beach area and give a tour of the location. Today, we're going to be taking a walk around the Market Common. So, let's walk through and see what shops they have to offer and give you a general idea of the size and scope of what is known as the Market Common. And as we take this walk, I'll give you a little background of what this place is. We're actually walking on the grounds of the former Air Force Base. This was the Myrtle Beach Air Force Base. It has been since, obviously, redeveloped into a commercial slash residential district. What we're walking in right now is the hub, if you will, where you have commercial establishments. This one's actually vacant at the moment. But you have commercial establishments with residential units above. As you can see here, this is the back side of several of the commercial units. We'll walk down that street on the other side of that building right now so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. The Myrtle Beach Air Force Base closed in the 90s uh, since it has turned into this. This is the main strip you probably have seen in ads and on their website. This leads to, at the end of the road, a Barnes & Noble and if you turn right at the Barnes & Noble, it is the movie theater. Here you go. This is what I was talking about. The commercial units on the bottom. Coastal Greens, Wellness. I've heard very good things about this place. I may have to try it one day. Uh, olive Oil Shop. A lot of good stuff, a little cafe here. And as you can see, above the commercial units are residential units. So you can come down here and rent yourself an entire building and open up your own shop if you want to. Juice up, smoothies. A little art gallery here, Studio B. Hair salon, flower shop, so forth and so on. And this continues another block and a half of commercial with residential above. Now this street here, if I pan over to the other side, you'll see it changes slightly. So you have your commercial on this side, this dog grooming shop, for example. But if we cross the street here, the other side is strictly residential units. And I assume as this builds out, the theme will continue this way. So, let's do a 180 and follow this road up to the Barnes & Noble that I pointed out earlier that has the uh, larger shops. As the corner here opens up, this space across the street, not on this side, but on the other side of the street, is used commonly used for festivals like art festivals, music festivals, um, different nationalities have festivals here, uh, Greek, Italian festivals and whatnot. Um, so a lot of this space is utilized for that. Uh, they also have a New Year's Eve party here and a Christmas tree lighting here. Uh, across the way, this is Faro Parkway, if you're wondering, those are all the rec fields, the baseball fields, soccer fields, there's a gym over there, a very unique playground over there, uh, and a walkway, you can't see it, but there's a lake all through here on the other side of the road, and there's a walkway that goes around that lake. We may revisit that lake and do a video on it in the future. I do have a few videos about that playground specifically, back there, Savannah's Playground, and this lake. They had dragon boat races there last year, and there's a video on that in the channel if you dig through. Kind of cool to see the, uh, the, the drums beating and people rowing. It's impressive, to say the least. So 
let's cross the street, look both ways, use the crosswalk, and take a look at this park over here that, like I said, is utilized for different festivals and events and tree lightings. There's a concrete pad right over there that they typically build stages on so they can have mu music and I want to say they do ballets and dance uh, exhibitions as well. Um, and this here is also lined with vendors at times on either side so it's pretty cool to walk away and you'll see vendors on both sides. A little fountain over there looks nice. Good place to walk your dog as long as you pick up after it. Going back to the Air Force Base, uh, here's a quick map of the whole Market Common District. And then there's a map of the Air Force Base when it was in operation. You can see here's the runway here going uh, west to east. Ocean would be over on this side. And the Market Common is here with the uh, the current airport on this side of the map. All right, so let us swing this way back to where we were coming from and continue our tour. Right there on the corner across the street is Gordon Biersch. Uh, I'd say they're good. Not the uh, greatest restaurant in the Market Common, but still a very good choice. You can't go wrong with Gordon Biersch. Down this way, there's only a couple of shops before you turn a corner, but there's a place down there called Peace Love and Donuts. They do custom mini donuts that are pretty darn good. I have a video on that. If you dig back through, it's called Peace, Love, and Donuts. Good shop. But again, like I said, let's use the crosswalk and head over to the Barnes & Noble. Right there on the corner across the street is Gordon Biersch. Uh, I'd say they're good. Not the uh, greatest restaurant in the Market Common, but still a very good choice. You can't go wrong with Gordon Biersch. Down this way, there's only a couple of shops before you turn a corner, but there's a place down there called Peace Love and Donuts. They do custom mini donuts that are pretty darn good. I have a video on that. If you dig back through, it's called Peace, Love, and Donuts. Good shop. But again, like I said, let's use the crosswalk and head over to the Barnes & Noble. We'll just pan around here just so you get an idea of where we currently are before continuing. Yeah, let's cross the street here. And I'll show you the activities that you can partake in in the median. So 
basically you have a children's playground just ahead of me. And then behind me there's a very large scale chessboard, which is pretty darn cool. Got a place called Bajuju over there. Chico's Boutique, a City Mac over here on the corner. There are holiday events, special events, whatnot, that they hold here. As you can see, plenty to choose from throughout the year. We'll go this way before swinging around and going toward the movie theater. At the end of this road, at the corner of Pharaoh, there is a P.F. Chang's. So, if you're interested in that kind of meal, there you go, right there. I enjoy P.F. Chang's on, on occasion, myself. Alright, I'm gonna break some rules. Call me a J, call me what you will, but I'm gonna cross the street here, even though there's no crosswalk. I apologize. But I do this in order to point out 810 Bowling, located right over there in the parking lot. A very cool establishment. It's a restaurant, it's a bowling alley, it's a bar, it's a hangout. Live music, all sorts of good stuff. I recommend 810 Bowling, also a location that if you go back on the playlist on the channel, have a video all about it, did a little bowling, recorded some video, shared it with you guys. So go check it out. Definitely a place to take uh, take the kids if it's early in the morning because it is one of those establishments that in the morning is pretty family friendly. I mean, you're at a bowling alley, but as, as the sun goes down, it becomes more of a bar. So keep that in mind. I do appreciate these walkways that are kind of strewn about the medians throughout Market Common. It makes it feel more like a pedestrian friendly environment and not just a road with sidewalks. Landscape's a nice touch too. Now if you could see beyond the trees on the other side of the road, that is the movie theater. We're going to head that way. But first, let's cross here. And swing past Barnes and Noble. All right, so where are we right now? Let's see. So we started our adventure right about here. Right about here. We're actually right here. Walk this way, down here, across, came up. Kept going, crossed into the median, went up here, went this way, jaywalked, and now we're here. Barnes & Noble. So let's walk this way, check out this area, see this back street, which I think is kind of a cool, quiet area. And we'll loop back around to our beginning. Maybe check over here. Not much to really check. It's just P.F. Chang's, which I showed you. Nacho, Hip Bone, and Orvis. Uh, and that park is on the other side of this, uh, this lake. So let's continue. So around this corner, we have a Cold Stone Creamery and a Crepe Creation Cafe. I've heard good things about Crepe Creation as well. Swing over here, there is the movie theater. Let's cross the street, get a closer look, and then we'll go down DeVille Street, which is the street right over here.
Up here on the right is the Ultimate California Pizza, which is an establishment. They have multiple locations in the Myrtle Beach area. Pretty good pizza. I'll give them a thumbs up. Sushi, also a location that I hear very, very good things about. And then Brass Tap is the bar up here on the left. Now, if you get to the market comp and you're wondering, excuse me, and you're wondering where the heck do I park, there is a parking garage right over here if you can't find parking. It is free parking. Another tip is there are public restrooms right here next to the parking garage. So if you're not a patron of a specific location at the time, you can pop into that public restroom. Now back here, this is, uh, dare I say, the locals side of Market Common. That's a really silly thing to say. But I say that because the businesses on this side aren't necessarily something a tourist would frequent in and out of. For example, we have a dentistry, Happy Teeth Dentistry. We have a coastal dance center. We have an architect, architect's office, things like that. These are businesses that um, they're frequented by people who live in the area, not necessarily a place you'd come and pop your head in and buy a trinket from or get enjoyment from visiting. On the left is just an office building. Again, not so much the tourist side of Market Common. This is more of a workplace. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a right onto Nevers Street, this away, which is going to take us by Gordon Beers, which we already pointed out. But we're gonna run perpendicular to the last uh, walking direction we took. We're gonna cross that way. Let's exit the hub of Market Common, the commercial hub, and go look at the park and the bridge by the lake, because why not? It's a nice view. So to get your bearings, Barnes & Noble's over there. The uh, park that has different events is over there across the street. And we are heading toward a little art gallery, Seacoast, over here on the right. And we're going to pass that Peace, Love & Donuts donut shop I mentioned. I recommend getting some donuts from there, they're pretty good. All right, so wayfinding time. Last time we spoke, we were here. We came around this way, came down, crossed over. And now we're here. All right, let's cross Faroe Parkway before it starts to rain, because it looks like those clouds are ominous at the moment. So to our left, that was the commercial hub of Market Common. And I'm just going to go ahead and label this side of Farrell Parkway as the recreational hub of the Market Common. Here's that large lake that I mentioned has dragon boat, dragon boat racing that there's a video on. Across the water are the baseball fields slash football slash soccer fields. 
And way over there, directly across the water, is Savannah's playground, a very awesome kids' playground. Over there is a family taking a nice picture. It's always cool to see. remnants of the holidays still on this bridge. Makes sense. It is January. Holidays were, well, feels like we're just yesterday. So again, there's all your recreational equipment and fields all over there. Here's our lake with some birds flying by. Very nice. And over there is the commercial district. A very cool place to come and take a morning walk or walk your dog or, you know, just find a cool place to sit and chill and maybe have a picnic. Especially this time of year when it's really not that busy. Truth be told, it is the weekend and it is... 2.55. So, as you can tell, the crowds are not an issue in January, on the weekend, in the afternoon. It'd be a different story if it was Saturday morning in the summertime, though. Fence makes it a little difficult to see through, but over there is the what I'd call the greatest playground that ever has existed. What you see in front of us is the residences. The Market Common. This is all single family, no commercial over here. Heavy inspiration from row homes, Charleston style, if you will. And as we come up to this bridge and over here you can see in the distance the first bridge we crossed way back there so it just goes to show you if you want to 
do a good jog or a good run, you can circle this pond a few times and you'll get your miles in for sure. The classic game of how close to the seagull can you get before it A flies away or B pecks out your eyes Hitchcock style. Anyway, there's that big playground right across the water. Baseball, football fields in the distance. And hidden behind those trees is the hub and we're gonna frighten all these seagulls right now. Oh, you're a brave one. Dang, that, la that last one. Sign him up for combat, he's got some bravery. All right. So let us cross a few more streets and we'll head back to where we started this adventure. Do be warned when you're crossing Farrow Parkway, some of the traffic here is a little crazy. So please be careful, especially at the crosswalks that do not have lights like this one here. That never happens. Wow, two times in a row. Now we ask ourselves the question, did they stop for me because I'm holding a camera? Or did they stop because they were just nice people? I'm gonna go with the latter, just because I have hope for humanity. But typically that road, like I was saying, is crazy. So don't expect the generosity of those two people just stop for me to occur during your street crossing. Always be on the defense. You can see there's a lot of vacant green space right now. All of this is planned for development for homes like that and possibly even the commercial with residential above. Not sure specifically, but this is all prepped. All the infrastructure is in. All they have to do is go vertical. Same with this little patch behind me. All right, let's cross here. Pull a 90, go this way. All right, so we're back on the commercial below, residential above section of Howard Avenue. For wayfinding, in case I got you dizzy from walking all the way over there, straight ahead leads us to Barnes & Noble. So that being said, you get an idea where we're at and kind of the size and scope of the center of Market Common. So earlier, much earlier in the video, this is a long video, this is where I crossed the street uh, to head to the residential side. So we have done a complete loop at this point. We're gonna turn right and head back to where this journey began, right at the end of this road. So, I know this was a long, 
long video. So if you made it this far, thank you. I really do appreciate the fact that you've watched all of this and absorbed what is the size and scope of Market Common and what's in this location to visit and, and be a patron of and whatnot. So if you don't mind, go ahead and like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you enjoy content from the Myrtle Beach area, and as I always say, until next time everybody, take it easy.